What we see now is an absolutely unjustified uh, uh, attack on an independent, sovereign, peaceful nation in Europe, Ukraine, by uh, President Putin and his uh, forces. And uh, uh, this is uh, a brutality and a scale of war that we haven't seen in Europe uh, for, uh, since the uh, Second World War. And therefore, we, uh, we call on Russia, uh, on President Putin, to uh, to end the war, uh, to withdraw all its forces, and uh, to engage in good faith uh, in diplomatic efforts. And I would like to commend uh, uh, Turkey um, uh, uh, for playing a key role in trying to facilitate uh, um, diplomatic uh, political processes that can lead to a peaceful uh, solution. There was a meeting here yesterday. We all understand it's difficult, but. Uh, uh, it is important, uh, the efforts by, uh, by Turkey. We have a responsibility to uh, help to end this war, not help to uh, expand it. Uh, and therefore, uh, uh, we uh, uh, are focused on how can we prevent this war from uh, getting even worse, uh, expanding uh, beyond Ukraine's borders. Uh, because that will uh, lead to even more suffering, more uh, civilian casualties, uh, more death, uh, more destruction. And that's the reason why we are not sending in NATO troops on the ground and not sending in NATO planes in the air. Um, I understand the frustration uh, um, in Ukraine, but I also think that uh, uh, an escalation beyond Ukraine's borders uh, will actually just cause even more suffering, more death, and therefore uh, we will not uh, engage directly uh, in the war by sending in NATO uh, forces in the air or on the ground. You're absolutely correct that no-fly zones have been used before, and, uh, and uh, at the same time we need to understand that uh, Bosnia, uh, Libya and Ukraine are very different uh, uh, situations, uh, and uh, what we have seen also in this uh, previous uh, 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 occasions is that to impose a no-fly zone is not only about declaring a no-fly zone, but it's actually about being willing to use military force to uh, uphold and impose a no-fly zone. And that will mean that NATO has to conduct massive airstrikes against Russian air defense systems, not only in Ukraine, but also in Belarus and Russia. And it means that we have to be ready to uh, directly uh, confront uh, Russian planes. So massive attacks on Russian uh, uh, air defense systems and uh, uh, dire confrontation between NATO planes and uh, Russian planes, that will most likely trigger a full-fledged war between Russia and, uh, and NATO. And uh, the result of that uh, will be uh, a suffering uh, civilian casualties, destruction in a scale which is uh, also even worse than what we see today uh, in uh, Ukraine. So, so, so this is partly about preventing the conflict in Ukraine from escalating, but also preventing uh, a full-fledged war between NATO and, uh, and Russia.